All right, what's going on? <clears throat> Back out here today on small little local lake. We're gonna do something a little bit different though. You know, a lot of these lakes around my area have got a lot of spotted bass in them over the past, I'll say 10 years. I, I, I didn't really remember fishing here too much longer ago than that, but it seems like you used to catch pretty much only largemouth, and now you catch a good mix, but primarily on the end of the lake that I'm fishing today is mostly spotted bass. So we're gonna do something a little bit different and fish a lake that I fish a ton, and I normally only target largemouth, but today, we're gonna probably catch some spots. At least I hope to catch some spots. May catch a big largemouth or two because there are some really big largemouth in this end of the lake. So I'm gonna flip around a little ace jig for a while around some of these shallow docks and stuff. And we're gonna see if we can catch a bass or two. So, but today, the unique thing is targeting spotted bass. Don't do that too often, but should be a good day. Let's, let's get the chesty strapped up. Go skip some docks, flip some rocks, all kinds of stuff like that. Spotted bass type stuff. Large mouth, not a spot. Ooh. Pretty little fish. So just in case, I had some camera issues, obviously. Don't know how the last clip actually ended up, but in case you didn't see, seven foot three, medium heavy. Just gonna run y'all down the, uh, what I'm using. I've actually got 14 pound Sunline Sniper on here. I do think the shooter's a better line for throwing jigs and stuff, but I did downsize to 14. I've got a seven foot three medium heavy and still an eight to one gear ratio reel. And I'm actually throwing a three eighths ounce Ace. This is the tournament tackle, exclusive color, Wicked Gill right here. Three eighths, a little bit smaller than what I normally throw. We're out here kind of downsized everything today. Rod, line, jig, everything's kind of downsized. We're gonna try to get more bites than we normally would get. And if we catch a little bit smaller fish, that'd be all right. one in spots that's what i was looking for today just a 13 13 and a half 14 inch spotted bass man 13 to 14 incher pretty one that's what this lake's got a lot of in it right now if y'all are not familiar with the spotted bass they have a tongue patch on their tongue right there that's how you identify them Oh, it came off right the boat. Had him cartwheeling. His head was too high. Couldn't get him back down. There's another one. crooked <laughs> what a weird hook set we're going around the dock he made it going the right way got another one though barely got him that's a little one right there maybe not even a keeper it's fun watch them come eat that thing though Sometimes people ask me what happened to my second graph. Well, basically, my cover fits on a lot better and a lot tighter without this graph. So I just take it off, gives me a little more clearance. And then whenever I'm just, you know, fishing around these small little local lakes, I don't really need two graphs that much. So I just have one on. 
and that's it. Another little spot of bat. Oh, sorry, buddy. Can you make it? Or I gotta grab you. Went the wrong way there, fam. Well, just 12 inch spot of bass. Little keeper fish. That's what makes up a lot of the bags and tournaments around here. Is uh, most of these tournaments, people have to weigh in a couple of those. Usually, when you do that, you're not gonna win the tournament. But you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. That sucker right there. Got my super glue. This I keep this little box in here. I've got a lighter to burn my braid. I've got a marker for for braid. I've got glue, glue, other markers, a hook file, dip and go. I just keep this little thing in here at all times. It's a good little gamakatsu box with all the stuff that I'm gonna need as far as like tools and stuff to improve my baits or whatever it is that i'm trying to do so that's what i keep my stuff in like that just be a little more organized and there you have it that's it spotted bass candy right there i know taku said he lives in smallmouth disneyland right now we in spotted bass disneyland we just need about a three pounder this is a very very finessey trailer on this jig so good bit different than typical oh 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 my god Hey, I was a little bit surprised whenever that first fish was a largemouth. I was like, uh-oh, if the largemouth are pulled up down here, might have a chance of catching a dang big one. But, you know, typically spotted bass rule the roost down this end. They're just small and they will run a long way to get the bait and stuff. They're just not quite as, they just don't kind of sit stationary like largemouth do. They really roam a lot and they, they really stay on the bait better than the largemouth. So they kind of get first in line on most of these ambush points down here so large mouth is just a nice surprise when you catch one mm, missed him mm, he was right where he's supposed to be i just seen it oh let me get him up in here that was a pretty place for a fish to be. Way up under that dock like that. Through the dome too. Pretty little spot of bass. A lot of times them spots will eat it running so fast and so aggressively that they literally would just not get it at first. And I don't like waiting on them. So if they didn't get it, too bad. We still gonna try to hook them. We still pulling. If y'all have picked up on it, I have been swimming this bait a lot in between docks and over these flat places and over some isolated wood and stuff like that. And we've, we've caught a few doing that today already. So definitely just something else to do, be a little more efficient, a little bit faster, cover the water that's in front of you a little bit better. It's just kind of where I'm at with it. Not sure how well y'all can tell right there but 
this forward facing sonar has been the key to every single fish I've caught today. As you see on both the screens, I can really see the fish. I can see the cover. I can really see exactly what I'm casting. The screen's a little bit dirty. Let me clean it off a little bit. There you go. There you go. Now you can see them. Now you can see them bass. Yes, sir. Forward facing sonar is telling me skip under the ends of these docks and catch these isolated spotted bass. Man, you really gotta <clears throat> like the rain or like, not like the rain. You ain't gotta like the rain at all. You gotta like catching 12 inch spotted bass. Pretty dang good to sit out here in the rain. Try to get another bite or two. That ain't normal. It's just a 12 inch spotted bass. A little large mouth. Second large mouth of the day. Built a lot different. This is a long skinny one. Ain't that jig though. You know it's it's weird. I just caught that fish on that dock, that last little large mouth. And uh, the other place I was fishing, almost all of them came when I was swimming it out except for the largemouth. I almost said like every single bite came swimming it pretty much. And then in this pocket, I've had seven or eight bites. Two, or maybe not that many, maybe four. And uh, every single bite came with a bait on the bottom. So just literally a quarter mile away, they were in a different mood. And that's, that's strange. I don't, that's kind of a learning experience for me. I've never experienced it like that drastic to where you go literally from the next pocket to the next pocket and they're eating it completely different. So luckily they're eating the same bait. So it's not super difficult to dial in something completely new, but I've never, I don't ever remember seeing that that quickly. That was literally 10 minutes ago to here. I've been fishing over here 15 minutes and had five or four or five bites and they're eating completely different. That's to me, that's a learning experience for sure. bass up there super shallow stop flopping just put this trailer on don't you tear it up pretty little thing all right so we accomplished exactly what i wanted to accomplish today came out here i don't know how many i call eight ten something like that hour and a half or so of fishing it's pretty dang fun you know this time of year is pretty tough just to go get some bites on a bait you really really like to throw you know i got to see a bunch of them eat it even though they were small spotted bass did catch a couple large mouth but for the most part had a good day had fun but i got an idea of something that i want to try so you'll have to check out the next video because i'm ending this one right here the next video we're gonna try something new that i used to do whenever i was younger that i haven't done in a while did i say it was new it's not new it's not new at all but i used to do it and i feel like today they'll bite it so Check back in a couple days for the new video. We're going to try a new one. If y'all enjoyed that video, y'all want to check out those jigs. That was a Tournament Tackle exclusive color called Wicked Gill. I'll leave a link down below to Tournament Tackle. They should have some other colors also in stock. And also Untamed Tackle has all of them in stock except for the Wicked Gill color. So check those out. I was throwing a Missile Mini, a Missile Baby D-Bomb is the trailer I was throwing on it. Skipping it around a 14 pound line and catching us a bass or two. So pretty fun day. I really enjoyed it. I've been fishing a lot of tournaments and grinding, trying to catch five or six good largemouth a day. So it's fun to come out here and set the hook a few times, even if they were spotted bass. So that's what it's all about. Relieving some stress, having a good time. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. If y'all did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. Do y'all have a lake like that where you can go fish on one end of the lake and catch a bunch of small ones and then another end where most of the tournaments are one? Or ex exactly how does y'all's local fishery sets up? Because that's how this one does. This one, there's one end of the lake where you can catch a lot of small fish, but you usually don't see the many of the tournaments being one in that area. So let me know if y'all's lakes set up any kind of similar to that, but we'll see you on the next one. Check back because I'm about to go try something a little bit different.